This is an interesting one coming in at number four because last year, I remember they had two tournaments at Muirfield Village back to back. The week before Memorial, they had a workday event and it was won by Colin Morikawa. It was a playoff between Morikawa and Thomas. So we're putting Colin Morikawa at number four this week, returning to a course, albeit it's gonna look very different, but there's still gonna be those winning memories here. Yeah, and he's not the longest hitter on the on the on the tour, Diane. But Jack's going to ask you to hit it straight this week. Mm -hmm. Does anybody think that Jack's going to let you win the tournament by hitting it in the rough all over the place? He's not going to do that. I mean, he saw what Bryson DeChambeau did to his course last year. I think he drove it 400 yards off hole number one. And I read on the brief of what Jack did. There's been a relocated bunker on hole one. The Faro, the fairway's been narrowed. Okay, so we know Jack fixed that. So. I've got to have a guy in there, Diane, that's very consistent striker, has the patience to learn this course, has enough energy to get out there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and learn all about Muirfield Village. He's already won on this course. You still have to hit the same shots. The routing hasn't changed. Morikawa knows all this, of course, and that's why he sits right where he does. Yeah, and his numbers are so good. It's so good across the board. Fifth in proximity, 16th in total driving, 14th in putting average. So he's a solid player.